Affinity Publisher allows you to package documents, which is useful for compiling resources into a single location. This can include grouping all of your externally linked resources into one folder, which is beneficial for avoiding missing links when your document is opened by other users. I'm going to go ahead and package this magazine. And this file contains a variety of fonts and a number of linked resources. So I'll go ahead and go to File and go down to Save as Package. A warning about using restricted fonts will appear. This will advise you to check your font's licensing agreement. Once checked, we'll click OK, and this will bring up the Package Document dialog. The Package Document dialog gives us a summary of the fonts and images used within the document. As we can see here, this document has a total of 17 fonts, zero of which are missing, and nine that are restricted. If I go to my font section, I can see the fonts in more detail. Here we have a list of all the fonts used within the document alongside their status. We can see that none are missing, but we do have some that are restricted. These restricted fonts will require a license for usage. Luckily for me, I already have the licenses for all of the fonts used within this document, but as a designer, it's always something we have to be mindful of. The same process can be followed for images. By selecting the image section on the left, we can see that we have a list of the images used within the document alongside their status. If I go back to the summary screen, I can see that I have two other options that I can select. By default, Affinity Publisher automatically includes the font and image files in the package folder indicated by these two checkboxes. For any reason that you don't want to include these resources in the package, you can deselect these options here. Now the document has been checked, we'll click OK and the file browser will open. I'll go ahead and create a new folder on my desktop and I'll call it Astra Fashion Magazine. I'll click Create and Package to begin packaging the document. Opening the file browser allows us to see the new file structure that we've just created. The package files will be organized as you can see here. The fonts and images have been organized into individual folders. And just above, we have our newly created AF package file. To send the package by email or transfer it to another system, you can compress the files into a single archive. We can also go ahead and open the package file as you would do normally. I'm going to click drag, offer it to publisher, and release it over the interface. Once the file begins to open, the package document dialog will appear again. If we go to our font section, we can see that Publisher has the ability to temporarily install any of the necessary fonts that aren't installed locally on your machine. To do this, enable any of the checkboxes to the right of the fonts that you wish to install. Using the image section, I can check that all of my images are present and correct. Once checked, I can go ahead and click OK and the document will continue to load. And here we have our packaged Affinity Publisher file. What you will find is that you won't be able to save the file as you might do normally. If I go up to File, and come down to Save, we can see that the function has been greyed out. This is to prevent you from accidentally overwriting your original file. To start working on the file, simply go down to Save As, adjust the file name, click Save, and you'll now be able to edit and save the file as you would do normally. And that's how to create a packaged Affinity Publisher file. Thank you for watching.